Hello and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Saturday series and we've got another marble beer and this one is rather odd and strange to me because it's in a 330ml can. Now marble to me is always 500ml cans, um, they may have the bottles but I rarely ever see marble in a 330ml can. So this is a marble cherry stout, it's quite a new release, uh, what are we on there today, we're 20th of January today doing this. Um, this is coming in at 5.7%. I think it's uh, the Marble Stout Core Beer, because it says roasty and re robust like it does on there, stout. And I just don't know about the cherry, so it says Marble Can Beer produced to cherry stoutish standards. So it'll be interesting to uh, see what the cherry and what's in it. So I'll get it in the glass, and then we'll have a, a taste and a, a read of the can. So yeah, so it, like I say, it's unusual to see a 330ml can, but it's a new line, a new range, sorry. Let's see. Let's get it open. Let's get it in that glass. Using the B glass again today. So there you go. So it's pouring nice dark brown colour. That head's forming really well. It's coming together. There we go. So that's unusual. It just seems really strange to me. So we've got a nice tan coloured creamy head forming there. Looks absolutely fantastic if I'm honest. Looks superb there. The aroma, whoa, cherry. Cherry, cherry. Please don't be synthetic. That is smacking your mouth, they're smacking your mouth, smacking the nose, cherry. Wow. I'm trying to get what's underneath it really, to be honest. And there is a stout, there's a stout backbone of roastiness at the back there. I'm trying to get past the cherry sweetness. That cherry's like a, a cherry, cherry sour aroma. And it's just there underneath that roastiness from that malt. I think, uh, Mrs. B will like this because she loves cherry beers. So that's going for it. So like I say, proper dark. Not much seeping through that. Putting that up against my light there. It's really dark, dark brown. Looks superb. Okay, cheers. Okay, that's pleasant. So that cherry there, it's like a cherry sweet, like a caramel. So you're getting the stout, you're getting that bitterness, but then you're getting the cherry fighting it with some sweetness, and there's a bit of a battle going on in your mouth there. And then you're left with the cherry flavour and sweetness at the end of it. And I'm trying to just pull back a little bit more of that stout. It's definitely a cherry stout beer, which it says on the can. So for that, I'm going to give them two Bs. It's not the full Bs and these three Bs for me, because, to be honest, I think I prefer their straightforward marble stout. I mean, I think that's fantastic. The cherry bit for me, maybe it's not for me. It's it's sweet. There's a little bit of sourness there, that cherry sourness. But it's not a bad beer. It's not a bad beer at all. It's, it's a good beer. And it's just, I prefer the marble stout, so I'm spoiled with a marble stout if I'm being honest, and I just think that is a superb beer. So this is just a peg down from that for me, but it's still for a cherry stout, it's superb, it really is. Let me go in again. Carbonation's low, mouthfeel, medium to light, um, it's not medium to heavy at all, 5.7%. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just thinking of cherry, like a cherry toffee, that's what I'm getting in the back. And that's what it's reminding me of is drink cherry toffees. I, don't, I mean caramel toffees, I don't mean like a cherry sweet, I mean like a cherry caramel toffee type sweet. So okay, like I said, two Bs. So let's have a read of the can, see if it says, says anything at all on that can. Um, like I say, marble cherry stout 5.7, 330ml cow roasty and robust. 330ml can, roasty and robust. Marble can beer produced cherry stoutish standards. Um, it says, our deep, dark and rich house stout, which is absolutely sublime, uh, wrapped in a velvet cherry blanket. 
Layers of complexity ready to be un- unravelled with each sip. Store up bright and cool. Pour slowly to leave any sediment in the can. Mine all went in. Didn't, didn't uh, mind that at all. Marble Beers, www.marblebeers.com. So, so yeah, so for me, I prefer the uh, the house stout over this, uh, but it's, it's it works really well. It is a it's a good um, adjunct uh, fruit, and it's working with that stout. It's just a little bit sweet, um, a little bit too much going towards the cherry toffee for me. If it wasn't for that, I mean, I don't think it could do any better than that. I think it is. It's, 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 it says what it, you know, it does what it says on the can. Cherry stout. So for that, two bees all day long. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. Oh, cheers. And we'll see you on the next one.